Alright, time to do another session of Panadon's Factorio. The hard version of that, with biters on. Hmm. I think I maybe have a few too many hands involved here. Need more primary hands and less secondary hands. Anyway. Um, we were increasing science. That was what happened last time. And we have to finally face the terrible reality of this. And the terrible reality here is I did it wrong. I made this completely wrong. And I should have the planter boxes on a different tier than the uh, finished planter boxes. But I did not do it that way. And now, this is kind of the bottleneck. I suppose brick is still the bottleneck. We're not backing up. But soon here, I'm going to have to address this problem. It means ripping all this out. At least I have some space here. And if I do this correctly, it won't be anywhere near as bulky as things are right now. A lot of that's just not having splitters, or used to not having splitters. Oh, and I'm going to need more native flora, too, even though we're not bound on that. But we are bound on planter boxes. Planter boxes are still on bricks, so we still live in this world, all right? Where we are, we're just barely keeping up. If we increase production even a little bit more, we're going to be, we're going to have to get more native flora lines up. That is unfortunate. Meanwhile, the pie line is doing just fine. And I suppose we are keeping all of these fed, right? So it's hard to complain too much. Show me pack. Oh, it even felt, oh, that's so nice. I never knew that. I never knew it did this. So yeah, now we're auto we're still automation um, restrained, constrained, because this is, well, well that's, it keeps this in the here to do this. Yeah. Yeah, no bueno is what I'm trying to say right here. We 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 need to add more. It must be bigger, yes? Yes, it must be bigger. And to get bigger, we need brick. So, let's go on a quest to see what's going on. It looks like it's time to increase uh, copper production, right? Because we can definitely use it. We're consuming all of it. We're not producing nearly enough. Problem being, oh, there's an entire ore belt that is, in fact, completely backed up. So we are uh, deficient on the processing step. That is a problem I can address. So let's just follow our. I really should be building a walkway. I don't have enough uh, stuff on. Alright, so it looks like we should just straight double this, right? Is this busy all the time? No, they kind of are, aren't they? Alright, do I have any jaw crushers? I do. The jaw crushers are taken care of, so I need automated screeners. And I need four of them. Is there any way to make this go faster? Doesn't look like it. So, screener. I need a bunch of iron, just small parts actually. I need four of them. So, more of everything, eh? I need more steel, more copper, more iron. So let's run and take care of that. We are working as hard as we can here, which means our next stop is to abandon this and go to the other one. Uncomfortably close. These things are not entirely without pollution. So I could just haul myself down there and begin prepping that. This is going to be necessary eventually. All right, good. Then we got to run over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just fill it up, right? Screener. Now we need steel, which we can just go grab. And this will be a while, right? We'll automate all of these things. Screen. 
now we need still more iron. All right, fine. And screener. Ah, oh, I can make phytoplankton. It's nice. And a simple mixer, of course, takes inner metallics and titanium and aluminum to mix something. You have two things what are separate, and you want them to be not separate. Well, I'm afraid you're going to have to get some really expensive parts. Yeah, we're going to stop soon. We're not going to be able to maintain the full bank of 10 labs. That is tragic. Completely and utterly tragic. And it's all because of brick. It's all because of stone. Um, but we will increase our stone production slightly. Introduce, increase our copper production by a lot. Because all that copper vanishing is probably doing something good, right? I mean, maybe. Are you stopped? Yes, this one is also stopped. It's important to pick up your toys. Soon this space will be mine again. And this is working eh, about 40%. I mean, it might be exactly 40% actually. So what are we doing here? We have to throw down two more jaw crushers uh, in the extreme position. It's like over here. We'll have to move this power line. Let's just move this power line now. Uh-oh. I don't have enough power poles. Dare I move it while it's still alive? Yeah, I guess it only affects this. Stop crying, you baby. You'll be okay. I'll get you your power. Alright, there we go. Let's queue up these so it just uses that time effectively after we're done. Alright, grab that, grab that, grab that. No, no, grab that. Okay, now we can start measuring, right? Because so we have one. Where'd you go? All right, so it should be, it should be here. And we're gonna have a line out here. And this is product line. Why are you not doing anything? Why is this lead miner? Why have the lead miners stopped? Why is the settling stopped? Why have you stopped? Is it because I've let this kit entirely full? Yes. That is why. Because I never took care of this problem. Okay. So, let's just pick up this lime, pick up this gravel, and solve this problem now, I guess. Here. The lime right there. And it will probably never go, right? That's fine, it's out of my inventory. So, we have to do something with gravel. Is it just literally just gravel that comes out of here? Can gravel be turned back into stone? I mean, what's the difference between gravel and stone when it gets right down in? Concrete, landfill, no, asphalt. That's not a terrible idea. Sand, saline water. Now don't talk to me about s stone wool. That's not real. That isn't real. All right, so what do we need to do is we need to get this gravel down to the concrete making factory, which is way down here. Is it? Yeah, it's right here, in fact. And this is just trying to make gravel right here, except it's been turned off. And this needs gravel right here. Yeah. Yeah, I guess, right? And just make lots of concrete for me. Here, let's 
first off do this. Gravel goes in there. Now am I actually going to draw a line down? I think I'm going to have to do that right now, right? Because else I'll forget about it. And if I forget about it, we'll be right back at this position again. So we should... No, we can't go down there. Can't use that logistic space. So thread right here, it looks like. Right here. Don't do that. It's completely dumb. So we got to get this guy into there. So we do this right. Yeah. Yeah. And then this goes right there. We start dragging it down here. Uh, let me see if I can help. But the lime, the lime that comes out of here is supposed to go there. Oh. So it is being produced. And this is producing lime that goes that way. Wait, what is this? Oh, I see. It needs to be preferential on the stuff that comes out of there, and it didn't be. So, that's an issue, right? Okay. I'm going to pull out the big guy right here. The, the big inserter. Uh, okay. Which side of the belt are you on? You are on the correct side of the belt. It's got to be preferential on the left. There we go. I don't know if this is going to be able to keep up. Like, it may be better to upgrade that inserter. Alright, so that will... Now, you have to only take gravel. I wonder how much lime made onto that belt. Is it better not to ask these questions? Alright, so this is... jank. Is that the best way to put it? Jank. So you're obviously not in a huge difficulty right here. You might be loader bound. I can't tell. Oh, this might be a cliff. I only tell because I'm holding down a button and not going anywhere. Ah, like a cartoon character. Right over here. Stop being underground for a little bit. It's probably ruined everything, right? Yeah, fixed everything. So we will jump across right here. And then we will do this, right? And is this the way of the future? I don't know. I do know it's venting a waste product. Creating a kind of new waste product in concrete, but sure. Alright, the world is different. I'm not going to be so bold as to say better. The world is now different. Um. Can you just take care of this ash for me? If I just go right here and do that, just take care of that over the next three days, a little bit of time. Okay, all right, anyway, on topic, stay on topic. This produces quite a lot of stone when it's running. So now we need two more. We have almost that, right? And there's gonna be another one right there. So oh, this buddy goes right here, that buddy goes right there, like this, and you leap down, and you go like that. Oh, our last friend. Like this. Just enough room. It's like 
I planned it like this. Uh, except I completely did not plan it like this. This is just kind of coincidental. All right, so you got to go there, 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 and there. And we have to pick it. Oh, I'm using good inserters for this, eh? All right. I will keep up the pattern. And then this goes all the way to the end. So obviously a jaw crusher has to go right here. And a jaw crusher has to go right here. And we have to do one of these. You get normals. Up, up. Good, 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 good. Let's do our best to have a redundant connection here because uh, somebody might cut it. Not going to name names. Somebody. Alright, so this is product out. And here we will also have product out. Slap that down. Slap that down. And there is primary product out. And now uh, it looks like we have four normal inserters. Or basic inserters is probably the better way to put it. We have an entire belt. You gotta get left. Get left. Alright, so right there. And now we have to vent out, right? So we have each one has a normal inserter. And then here each one has two inserters. And then you have an inserter that does product out, and two that does stone out. All right? Dress them properly. Good. Right there. This goes boop, boop. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. All right, nice. And then boop, 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 boop. All right, so. We should be ready to rock here. Let's see if I'm right. Okay. All right. Okay. Work control power. I'm gonna double the stone production from this area of the factory. This is gonna give me more bricks. So we're still, still not eating an entire copper belt here. It's actually quite surprising. Oh, and we're also poking out beyond the wall. Gonna have to care about that. This wall is holding nicely. So, oh, are we consuming the entire copper belt? It looks like maybe one more is all that's required. Like it's just barely too much coming in. Everything's flowing here. I copy it all correctly. Nice. And we're even gonna There we go. We're even gonna distribute it. Yeah, one more we eat the the whole copper belt. So this all becomes copper too. And the stone production is a little higher. Can I walk and look at that? Stone. Oh, I can just look at everything right here. I should I should have been doing this for years. So stone production is up. Stone brick production is pretty much what it used to be. Am I really making no stone, no stone furnace? All right, but we made melamine. 225 science in this time. 
That's quite a lot, actually. Moss from upgrade. This is very expensive, but it intrigues me. Unopened capsules with both op operculum, op operculum and calyptra intact are collected to provide spores for the next crop. Under such continuous sterilization, that's with distilled water and chlorine. That sounds horrible. I don't want to do that. High density culture, moss is kept at the protemina stage by continuous mechanical disruption by using rotating blades. This exposure to the alien mass of fierce biodiversity will remove the requirement for muddy water. Ooh, additional energy required to maintain the biological process. This is a good one right here. No more muddy water in order to make uh, moss that reduces moss to just um, seaweed, essentially. That would be fantastic. Uh, internal bioreactor. A bioreactor uh, in the farm that nullifies any pollution made by the cultivation process. Well, there's no pollution. It eats pollution. It, it does... So it adds like a gas recipe there? That's interesting, but the high-density culture just immediately leaps out on me. Anyway, we're interested in firearms, thank you. And it's so close. We're getting there. Oh, we're actually a battery? Some of this is probably pretty cool, except I can't make any of it, right? It's like fiberboard? Is this really... Oh, better for micro recipe. Yes, please. Treated wood, wall fiber, sodium hydroxide, and a lot of steam. It makes tall oil. <laughs> That's not real. That's as real as middle oil. You're just making stuff up. That unfortunately is a lot of steam. Um, here we have formica. This makes four of these in melamine resin. My, I'm already not thrilled about this, but it's probably better, right? And aromatics from black liquor. Oh, it also gives me acetone. Anyway, what's what's melamine resin? It's probably right up here with melamine, right? Cyanic acid, melamine. Melamine resin is a bunch of melamine, formaldehyde, and urea. Urea comes from zognum bacteria and poop. <sighs> All right, I yeah. And melamine is. Water, cyanic acid, and ammonia. Cyanic acid is urea, and urea is poop. All right, all right, sure, sure. I guess I'm I'm thrilled by this. I really am. I'm gonna have to do this not soon, but it's coming. Anyway, research the fiber board, will you? Okay, so. Uh, if we take a walk, not a very... what is this? Is seaweed? Is this seaweed right here? Because it looks like seaweed. And yeah, it is seaweed. We are all backed up on seaweed. That's no good. These things hold back uh, disaster. So seaweed has to be looked at. This is doing just fine. I have all the molten glass I could ever need, thanks to technology. Seaweed is next in line to be looked at. But anyway, looking at this right now, it looks like we are using maybe a few more kilns. Like we're using this rank reliably now. Let's check out brick production, right? Stone. Uh, 10 minutes. So, stone brick production ticking up a little bit. So the base was 144 before. Now the base is like 25% higher. Alright. Anyway, seaweed bubbles. Um, I can't compost them yet. Oh, I see. It's one of these situations, right? Ah. <sighs> Agar is backed up. Do I just... Do I literally make an agar buffer? 
Oh, this is not good right here. Why is the moss farms not? They're all going. So it would only take carbon dioxide, which is an improvement. And wood needs to, we need more wood, like a lot more wood. Are you doing okay? I worry sometimes. So do I want to just establish an agar buffer? to give employment for the uh, 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 the seaweed circuit. See, this will drain out, then this one will start, and it'll start eating seaweed. Mm. So, well, none of these problems are critical, critical right now. Things are still okay, right? Just need to keep pouring on the science in order to get to grenades and see what kind of world I live in. So we are still bound on automation science. And we are only running seven labs at the moment, which is a problem. And the planter box is still brick bound. Still. Still brick bound. Okay. Planter box is not backing up. And we are scooping up every brick that comes by. All right. So. Hmm. Interesting. Making 140, 160. It used to be 30, so it's a little better, but not a ton better. We have to deal with mass production of brick. And meanwhile, how are we doing on the copper side of things? Yeah, doing all right. Could be doing better. So, current situation pretty good, right? Certainly can't complain too terribly much. Um, we're not, we're eating most of a cup. It's not even a full copper line. Mm, all right, so you are not going for lack of pitch. It's time to fiddle with, uh, let us start again, good. Fiddle with the balance of the universe mess with this stuff up here. Why is mo why are you moss deficient? Why are you muddy sludge Oh, because it's this. So it needs to vent the sand, and the sand is needed elsewhere. Ugh. I would very much love to get that upgrade. I'm not even following that. It's doing something weird. I don't care. Here. Take these logs, do something with them. Um, so up here, the pitch. The pitch is going to make uh, carbon dioxide, and that is great. And then when it overflows, it overflows south. And the creosote is being completely consumed. We are just burning treated wood in a number of places. It, it was it's fine it works out it's fine I'm surprised there isn't there, there's so much uh, uh, raw coal on this belt it's, it's hilarious I needed the crushed coal recipe for for so long needed it needed it badly and I finally get it but I also comes alongside geothermal power and so then I don't need it anymore Oh, okay, so that's what's going on. This coke is going back into here, so it's never backing completely up. So let's put a stop to that, right? Now, this will back up and stop making coke. And when it does that, the pitch will then start um, flowing south. 
and I'll start making bricks out of it in a fairly um, efficient recipe. Alright, good. Now you are starting to get pitch. Where's the pitch line right here when this starts building up and up? And the question, of course, is can I run two of these now? And I guess the answer is probably yes, since everything else is uh, fully venting. The problem is, where would I cite it? <sighs> yeah, isn't that just a big problem? I did not build this with expansion in mind, which is tragic and sad. Like right here, maybe? What is this? Tar processing? It doesn't seem like these have a lot of crossover with everything else, you know? It kind of seems like an isolate. This pitch building up. No, but this belt is going to definitely fill. All right, so tar processing unit probably gets sighted right here. Not because this makes me happy or anything, because that's just how it goes. Is the methane wall working? Yeah, I need to put more methane uh, processors. Uh, not doing that quite yet. All right, so this is going to be a, once again, a hell of pipes. So, tar processing unit. Like, it needs two inputs and then it has four outputs. Oh. And the outputs, one's right here and it goes, that's the creosote output. This is going to be so incredibly ugly, what I'm about to do. And yet I cannot stop myself. I need cliff explosives so badly. All right, so pain, pain is here. Make things easy on myself. I will do this. Just, just everyone look away. Look away from what's about to happen. Don't let this color your how you see me. Look away. All right, there. Inputs are in place. Now to get rid of all the products. That's the pitch. Pitch's primary product for this exercise. Aren't you full up yet? Oh, you're getting real close. And then pitch will begin backing up and it'll begin making bricks for me. So the pitch line is over here, it looks like. We'll try to leverage this. Yep. yep. And this is just going nowhere, isn't it? Because it dead ends into that right there, and coming up over there is another dead end. I suppose. I could try to slip up in between. But we are now in the land of great jank. Great and powerful jank. Yeah. Yeah, that just screams a good idea, doesn't it? A lot of pitch building up. That's what I want to see, right? And right here, and right here. Good. Good. More pitch means more brick. Alright, now creosote is the other problem one, isn't it? Creosote I can probably pull over here the same way, right? Have it come down right here and join everything. How far can I leap? Well, there's leads straight into a steam line, so no, we can't do it that way. 
Um, how to get maybe join over here? Oh, there's creosote lines right there. Oh, okay. This is not going to be the rolling disaster I imagined. It's going to be a different kind of disaster. All right, so that's one thing. And now there's the middle oil and the anthracene oil. The middle oil doesn't exist. You can't. Oh, isn't this wonderful how it dead ends immediately right here? All right, we can fix this though, right? No, we may not. Well, I'll get explosives soon. That'll fix this problem. And they will all get fixed on that day. But for right now, we suffer along. Alright, up here, up here. Pick, pick, pick. What is that stuff right there? Wonderful blue looking stuff. Niobium? I don't know what niobium is, but I imagine it's not naturally found in just blue piles on the ground. Now we have to get the, the right oil here. This is anthracene oil. It's the three rings. The three benzene rings. That's one benzene ring. This is it, right? Yeah, it's got to come in here. And I've put in a really cheapy line. So getting in is going to be a real problem. So I have to use this space, I guess. So I thought I was being cute when I put this in. And while on some level, I'm sure it is completely adorable. On another level, uh, not as cute as I think I am. All right, that way. This is, of course, utterly unsustainable. Alright, so now we get the anthracene oil in right here, right? Do this, we'll do this and this, and that. And we should be able to turn this on, right? There we go. It's making pitch. Each one of these is 40 bricks, right? 40 and more, it's almost 60. It's like 55 bricks, right? Something like that. Now we just pump it out. There, creosote doing its job. Pitch doing its job. Let's, let's run down to the furnace and see if it's just going 24 seven. No, too far. Too far? No, we gotta jump over. Also, critical factorio experience is getting lost in your own factory. Oh, right here, right? This is 50 pitch and 5 stone for... It's only 4 stone bricks? I thought it was a lot more. Oh, the, the really good one is up here, right? with the rich clay. Yeah, this is the really good one. Only I don't have a means of making rich clay right now. Looks like tar is becoming a problem. Ah, well. So this isn't completely revolutionary. So each uh, run of uh, the oil up there uh, the tar processor produces basically three runs of this, which is 12 bricks. All right, this is probably showing up on the graphs right now, right? Stone. Stone brick is leapt up, right? It used to be 155, 160. Now we are... 240, just as a matter of course. Now are we consuming all the pitch? Now it looks like we kind of are, right? And the sad part is it is taking away from everything over here. Oh, I, yeah, look at this. So, this isn't a, a total positive. 
because this is uh, here stone brick. Let's examine. So it's two stone to one brick, and here we're going for five stone to four brick plus the pitch. And this is what we really want to be doing. How can I make rich clay? Unintentionally and no, that's just too expensive. It's too minor a side product. So this is producing very little brick. But this is using the stone a lot more efficiently, I guess is the best way to put it. And by best, I mean the only way to put it. Oh, and it's eating the stone line here. So this is going to have to... Mm. I've mixed input and consumption lines. Are you going to run out here? If this runs out, this is a major problem. Well, at the moment, it looks like it's fine. The pitch is kind of building up a little bit. Anyway, let's take a look at the science side and see how things are. The dream, of course, is to get uh, all ten of these working again. Oh, looks like we are living the dream now. We're not secure in the dream yet, but science production is up. Oh, and brick production is exceeding our ability to consume this. So now it's time to rework all of this, which is not really what I want to do. But that's the next step, right? All right, graphs. Pack. No. No. Oh, no, it's because it's so intermittent. I was thinking, like, how we... So now we're at a point where I'm kind of at a balance, right? I'm producing, well, it's, maybe I'm overproducing an automation right now. Yeah, it's almost time to increase pi science, almost. But now it's time to redo this. Ugh. The word of the day is ugh. How am I going to do this? It's not even... It's barely backing up. So maybe I just don't, right? That's a possibility. Alright, it's time to do the other side of the equation, I think. Now, see, look, it's run out. I don't know why it ran out. Maybe it's because of the... Uh, the bursts that come by with stone brick. See, every once in a while, this pops. Actually, this is this production is a lot higher. If it was just that one recipe popping, why is it? Why does it do this? Hmm. That's a bit of a mystery, isn't it? Alright. It is time to try to find something new to do with my life, right? What should be done now? There you take that. I have a metal pole to stick here. Job. Anything else? Anything else? Now I should get rid of that. I should get rid of this. Good. 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 So this is definitely getting consumed now. Only problem is I haven't. The the, the equilibrium is so tenuous at the moment. I really feel like I need to just keep concentrating on brick production. Mm. I, I don't want to switch gears just to make this go a little faster. I want this one to go a lot faster. I want to it's like make sure it's not a bottleneck for a good long time. The shifting gears and going back and forth, back and forth just isn't all that great. So. Where are we on pitch production, I guess, is the question. 
This is a better way of making brick. Not a good way, just a better way. Is everything still running at full blast here? It's like we're short on tar. Kinda. Still going. Not that short on tar. It looks like it's all being consumed by the coal factory here, which is keeping CO2 up. It's like, okay, so let's see if we can increase and or reroute tar. Tar all comes from right here. This is coke production. And this is stuck because of... Why are you stuck? Coal gas is actually... Hmm, did not expect to really have a problem with too much coal gas, right? Because this is being... Shouldn't it go to Syngas? But I want to vent it. That's my thing. Um, coal gas right here, and you are stuck because full. No, stuck because efficient. I do coal gas. Can I just turn you into ash? Yeah. So do this. So just or go to sin gas and then do it. Oh, this makes tar as well. Hmm. This is what I'm gonna do, right? Alright, so give me a gasifier when you and I also need a tank. So I don't have anything for sin gas right now. So I will just build the biggest tank I have. And we will uh I also need a high pressure furnace. High pressure, high pressure furnace, high pressure furnace. I know what this looks like, I swear. Automated factory. Uh right there. Okay. Oh I already had one. So, forget that. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this excess coal gas and right here, yeah, right here, we are going to plomp down a gasifier. We're going to turn this into syngas. Yeah. Right? Good. And then. Uh, this takes water and coal gas. And we got both of those right here. Isn't this fortunate? This is how you know you cited something in the right place. Oh, nice tech. That is also how you know you're doing something correct in life. I'll get you in a second. Oh, no. Tragic. And pop, pop. Alright, so, fiberboard finished. Second tech of the day. Oh, oh, we're getting there. Battery time. Um, now I put down the giant tank because we have no use for Syngas right now. We just want to store it for the moment. Tar, of course, has to go back the other way. Probably doing this wrong, right? It should be something like this. Yeah, this is better. Slightly more aesthetic. And then the coal gas just naturally comes up like so. the water a little less naturally come in like this, and it will be okay. Okay, good. You will make sin gas, and you need to ash out. Ash will go somewhere. We'll figure that out. It should be hard. Tar will go out. That is a little more hard, because we are not in a natural tar area. Where is the nearest tar line? Right here. 
here. All right, so this tar line will get extended this way. Perfect. Let's see what wonderful things are in the way of this line. Actually, it looks like not much. We will once again exercise side product control. Okay, so right here, right? Right there, and then right there. No, that was completely wrong from A to Z. So now we come over here and we do this. And that's all that's left is ashing out, which is obviously what this will do. Oh, there's ash right there. I can just make sure it's on the right side of the line. So this would be on, yeah, this would be on the right side of the line. And I do this. I do one of these. And I dump it in at the exact right moment. Now, and preferential input from there. And then output, output, and then light it up. All right, coal gas consumption is now a little more. And then, of course, I have to burn the coal gas afterwards, which is why I have the high-pressure furnace, right? Should I do that right here? Yeah, sure. It doesn't have to be particularly anywhere. Mm, yeah, I should do that right there. And you have to just burn coal gas. Hmm. Ash. Make ash and coal gas. Good. And then you have to ash out right here. And you have to go that way. And we need a overflow valve right there. Good, 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 good. It just goes and goes. And we get rid of our problem. Or at least one of our problems. Alright, so this is not venting gas fast enough. Venting ash fast enough. So it can barely keep up even with a faster one. Faster arm. Alright, so this is fine, right? This should be eating coal gas at the appropriate rate, which is producing tar at the appropriate rate. I mean, actually, ooh. now, yeah, everything spikes up. This comes back to life. This is making, uh, apparently I was tar poor, or I was just choked on coal gas right there. Probably that. All this is going, how's power doing? Power is just fine. You're choked, and you're choked, and you're still going. Alright, so, tar situation is good, right? Pitch is building up, which means we know what time it is, right? High pressure furnace. And then we come over here, new. Hmm, interesting. You're making oven gas, right? Whatever that is. Okay, Sue, so what I have here, what is this pipe? What are you supposed to be doing, pipe? <laughs> is this supposed to be tar? What's going on here? Oh, I was making syngas already in order to make plastic. I, plastic just isn't used for a lot, is it? I forgot this existed. Alright, so this this tar, which I just tapped into, right? Hmm. Hmm. Many questions. Many, many questions. Anyway, so this is tar, right? Where are you going, tar? 
What needs tar down here? Over here. Oh, is this a tar outline? It just it vanishes. It comes here and it stops. Alright, so this needs to get picked up. Very sloppy of me of not cleaning this up. And down here, this is a tar outline. Alright. All in the name of what are you making? Coal for this. Oh, here we are. We are bottlenecked hard. Creamy latex. Why aren't you moving? Because we are bottlenecked hard on the latex chain. Mm. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We are... We can't output. So this is coming in, so the bottleneck is the creamy latex. Let's see if that just stopped or something. Or did it start again? I know we made it down here just out of convenience. So right here, right? You are just... You are sap bound, unfortunately. All right, so we gotta increase sap production. This can be done. This can be done really easily. Though I don't know if I have the appropriate amount of sap trees. Anyway, here's a bottleneck. Let's just address this bottleneck by going to you. And then I need soil. Give me some dirt. You. Thank you. Yes, whenever I walk by one of those, grab some dirt. Are we only really producing in... Yeah, we're only producing in eight, maybe seven. That's no good. Oh, brick is backing up though. So what's our problem now? It's not brick, it's wood. Oh. That is going to be a trickier problem to solve. Anyway, uh, I'm still solving brick. So this we determined is a tar line. Uh, I want this space right here. This space in particular. So this tar line has to be somewhere else. So this is going to make it difficult, right? Because there's just very poor maneuverability in here, which we can write off to extremely poor planning. I would love to be right there, but I can't. I can't. Well, I gotta drag that up then. A uh, chance of me forgetting about something and uh, completely wrecking the factory right now very high <laughs> very 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 high so right here and now you can tie back in here that's come on my boys over there there no wait not done there there now this tar line is independent great so now, um, one of you. Maybe it would be better to put here. Ah, whatever. It has to do with brick. It goes here, right? It has to do with stone, so it goes here, right? Um, so what I need to do is do this. And then do specifically this. Remember when there used to be spaghetti here? Spaghetti calls to us. And now we have a proper line coming over from uh, the collector. 
So now you go one, two, three, four, five. You go right there. We pull the pitch in. Oh, and we've done it badly. <sighs> okay, so right there, it's exactly where I need it not to be. That goes that way, that goes that way. Okay, good. I think I didn't ruin everything there. I will have to look at it very carefully. So good. Good, good, good. I mean, in theory, good. It could be bad. Um, and we want to get into that line with our bricks. But it is going to be quite difficult to get our bricks there, right? No, no, it won't. So we go right here. And we continue to play Spaghetti Factorio. We put in a nice splitter right here. There. Joined up. Perfect. This is exactly how the game is intended to be played. There we go. Those bricks get on there. And now we're completely backed up, though. Like, I've finally done it. I have... I have conquered the brick problem. Ah, huzzah, right? Huzzah. Behold my power. Let's see what I can do over here. So I have to um, flip the bricks, right? Because we are only single siding on this belt. So let's do this right here, right? No. No, let's not do that. Let's go way back here. Way back here. And we have a... Well... No, it's nothing terrible, is it? So, right here, I suppose. And then... One of these. Alright, so... Stone brick production. We're not even... We're not at peak production right now because of uh, the belt being backed up. Okay, good. So let's look over here. We only have seven running as per uh, our custom. We're running out here. That has to be looked at. And now we actually have to eat this. We have to figure this out. We need to increase wood production in. We are now wood bound. Strangely enough. All right. So our main wood line is actually. Uh, so let's take a look. All the wood comes up here, and then the wood. Why do we have two wood lines right here? Why do we have wood coming down on this? Why is this happening right here? Why is this not connected to anything? Why is this just a belt from nowhere to nowhere? This is the coal dust line. So let's see if we can do something a little better. I would bet that this is a wood line. No, this is ash line. Or a coal dust line, rather. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Why are we completely backed up on... Oh, because it's not preferential, is it? Ooh, that's an oversight. Yeah, I never did this. Process weight products before primary production. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Uh, no, like that, I mean, and then like that, and then input priority on the right, and moreover, I need to dual side this, and so use all of these plates first, please. In fact, can I encourage this? I can. More than that, I will. Let's encourage some iron production. And 
ones, please. Simple ones. Do I need anything else, really? No. Just need some. Just a little bit more iron in my inventory. What am I doing with this? This iron ore. What is to be done with this stuff? I have to run all the way back and dump it in uh, one of the jaw crushers. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I'm now starting to drown in my own production. The biters were right. It's just, there's no other way to think about it. The biters were 100% correct. Here, get in there. There. So what's it take to make a battery? Oh, I see. We won't be five circuit boards. Wow, that's expensive. All for just one battery, and it just doesn't do anything. It's just a battery. A component into something else. Wow. This also means less stone is being produced, which is in turn less brick. Um, so we have to address this issue. We need more wood. That's what we were doing. So, the wood line right here, we have to make sure nothing's joined in on it. We got distracted. So more wood comes in here, which is, this is not going preferentially to the, the labs. Where is the wood getting into this line? It's, the main wood line comes up here. It's coming back somehow. Like, why? This is going this way now. And this is being used as fuel, I guess? No, it goes into fiber and fiber stuff and, part of, and uh, eventually treated wood. It comes around, it comes around, it fuels all this, goes into cellulose, it comes down here. And parts of the factory I just haven't been in forever. Now it comes back here and dumps into the fuel line. All right, so that makes sense. It's a sad story, but it does make sense. So what about all the wood from over here? I should be taking more trees, right? Because you're going to full bore, and then you go here, and the wood starts going this way. Let's trace this wood line. Where does this end up? So down here, are we seeding? No, we're still seedling uh, core. It's like this isn't going at full tilt anymore. So his seedlings have actually backed up to here, but that's still not a lot. And this wood line goes that way. Let's check down here. We can increase wood production. We really can. Because this is only going at a quarter speed, that's only going at a quarter speed, but we are now seedling uh, constrained. So if I increase seedling production, I can get more wood. That seems natural, right? Maybe there's a uh, better recipe too. I've unlocked a lot of stuff. Everything's fine here. I'm so glad they don't try to expand into the factory once you've claimed it. At least that's what I'm interpreting what's going on as. So this, these, these belts of wood come here. And they all go this way. Some of it goes north. Do we have pre any preference here? Where's this go? Ah, it's fueling this stuff. This is too precious to be doing this. I should have this not be wood fueled. Ash is not my problem right now. Okay, I can get a lot more wood that way. And then it gets turned in just utterly just destroyed here, turned into cellulose. And then the dregs come over. It's turned into more seeds, more seedlings. And finally makes its way over to uh, 
this area. Or some of it becomes science. I need to make more you. Because that's definitely coming. Alright, so the story here is that well, here's one of the questions. Am I now choking on my own stone production? Um, probably not. That iron is... Well, it's still flowing, for one. Well, brick, this will eventually back up and probably paralyze everything. So, I need to do something. That something might be additional seedling production. It might be... In fact, it's probably got to be seedling production, right? Um, yeah. No, wait. I have an easy out for a little bit. And that's powering the lead miners off of actual coal. So I have to find my actual fuel line. Like right there, that's an actual fuel line, right? And like right here, it's already up the cliff. And this needs to make its way over to the lead miners, which are... <sighs> Where are you, lead mine? Right there? It's not far away at all. Is there anything better? Can I power them off electricity? Probably if I had uh, resources, I don't. Oh, so there's a better power line. Yeah. So let's just drag that over. And then we will power our miners off of... Here, we're just going to stop. Here, eat what you got. Now you don't have to share. Um, so we will pull it through here. And we're going to have to make... Uh, figure out ashing out, which probably require me to pull up everything right there, which is fine, I'll do that, I got plenty of space. We'll redesign this to make ash, and the ash will go somewhere. That's unfortunate, but ash isn't really a problem at the moment. It used to be, though. Ash used to be a big problem. You know, we won't, we'll leave space for a splitter, but we won't put one in. Okay. I'm really enjoying how the various fuels have their time in the sun, and they, they, they come and go, essentially, as the most appropriate thing to be using. This also might be me just playing strangely. Alright, so pick you up, pick you up, pick all you up. Um, I need fluid miner. So you need to ash out like so. And you can go right there, and you need to ash out like so. The pattern like we have done many times before. You just don't even have to be here anymore. And then we have no right there. Ashing out. And pipes. Right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. Alright, so let's slowly fix this, right? We are ashing out here. Ashing out here. You will take only ash. You will take ash. Ash, ash. So, good. This will require complete reworking once, um... Mm, and what we want to do is simply come out, come down right here, and then we're going to, we're going to do something pretty complex here, aren't we? This goes in, and it will go in like this, so we'll be only on the right side of the belt. And that's the right side of the belt. And pray toward priority from the right. That will give all that a home. 
So now it's just plug in, right? Plug in, plug in, plug in. And then slam this straight in. Okay, good, right? You're not making ash, so I can't observe what, how good this is or not. Okay, text happened. Then hit the gun. Oh, we're coming close. We are so close. But it gets harder and harder each time. What's this do? High pressure steam turbine. Like, I'm pretty close to getting that, right? Just takes a bunch of fiddly stuff. Max temperature a thousand. Max output <laughs> four hundred and seventy three megawatts. Wow. That might be the solution to all of my power problems though. For now and for a very long time. Meanwhile, let's eat cereal. <laughs> let's make us research cereal instead. Uh, workers food. I don't well there's a use for guts. Alright. Anyway, let's see if we have had any impact. Oh, clean this up. Pick up, pick up, pick up. There. Now, let's see if we've had any impact on the world. Yep, just wood flooding across, wood flooding across. Doesn't look like it's really going to have that big of an impact, right? Because we want the wood to come here preferentially. And it's... and we're not. We are wood-bound now. Okay, I can handle that. So that means we are also seedling-bound. So we have to come over here, and we have to Timothy drill. Wonder what that does. Um, we need a whole bunch of moss farms, and we need more seedling farms. So, pick up some dirt. Pick up some dirt. Pick up some dirt. Make those moss farms. Go get some more stuff. Make some more moss farms. I'm gonna make two seedling generators, and then I'm gonna turn the uh, wood generators on full blast. Hopefully that will be enough to carry forward, right? And if not, uh, I will be uh, without a plan, I guess. Uh, one, two, three. I'm going to need two of these. I already got one, so I build one. And we're going to try to just add this to a wall somewhere. Ooh. That's probably prudent, isn't it? Like, put it over here. But I don't want to have to... I want to just press the easy button right here. Um, I, here's a seed line, right? We also have muddy water and... Yeah, so this is also adding to a wall. Um, gas... Yes, I come over here and I put down. I don't have the uh, have the sap extractors, but I don't have the plants. Let's shift gears ever so slightly, because I knew that was a problem. And pie is going to be a bigger problem soon, and I need planter boxes, like actual full planter boxes. Unfortunately, so we're going to have to interrupt the science. Let's grab some science right here. Raw, pulsing science in my hand. And try to find the small parts that I picked up. Right there, shove those in. Grab these again. This is going to take a little bit of time. Grab these planter boxes. Okay, that's good. I'm going to take these 18 planter boxes and run all the way up here. 
try to trade them for more sap trees, and then add more sap production to the creamy latex line. I think we're sap bottlenecked everywhere, which is a little strange, you know? So we have 21 of these here. I give you a donation of this. And it takes one and makes a sap tree. So just take the entire harvest. What am I going to do with this treated wood? I guess I shove it in up here, right? The pollution is still under control everywhere. So good, good, good. Then right up here. Oh, this feels good to look at. Take that. Ah, uh, right there. And then right there. Good. Make for mica. It's a better recipe now, but it's a lot more complex. All right, so we took care of one sub problem. Yes. Now we have to run due south from here to the sap production area for latex for pie science packs. So right here, we have six of these to add. One, two, three, four, five, six. Everyone gets sap production. Everyone gets some plants. Alright. All of you are doing good. Right there, right there, right there. There, right there. And it creates one sap every 20 seconds. That's not a lot of sap. But one, two, three. Five, six. Looks like we doubled production here, so that's good. Um, hard to complain about that. Now, where are we going to site these new... I don't care. I, I'm not going to wrestle with territory right now. Um, why are you stopped? You're not stopped. Oh, so maybe I should make two more. Because this needs more moss. Here's a moss bin. Um, so yeah, one step to get this going would be to get these actually working. All right, we will do that. So moss farm right here. The moss farm right here. Sure, we will reorganize this someday. And moss. right so it won't take muddy water that's probably for the best right just simplify my life just a little bit there's no putting a price tag on that right there that there, put that there, put that there, put that there. Then everything has everything you need, right? And then up, and then up. There. We are all making moss. The moss will go up. And it will become seedlings over there. Same story right here. Really rough, you know, kind of ad hoc. This will now get this moving full speed. All right, great. That is more seedlings. So let's take a look. Seedling. So let's see if we can get these numbers up, right? Not too high, though, because again, these guys provide a very important. Uh, uh, role in the consumption of uh, the prevention of pollution and the maintenance of the borders. I've changed my mind. I'm doing this all differently. 
I don't know if you can tell. Alright, moss in place. Boom, 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 boom. This place will be the complete eradication of all pollution. Sorry, sir. If the bugs come to destroy this, you know they truly have. They're truly unable to be reasoned with. And then, you know, we will develop nukes. <sighs> they all know it's coming, right? They don't really even have nervous systems, right? I can say that, right? It's not politically incorrect to point that out. That you require a nervous system in order to have negotiation. So, right there, correct. And if they don't have a nervous system, this is ultimately a failing on their part, not on mine. They could have evolved that at any time. The fact that they haven't really shows the fundamental malice of the species. There's no other way to put it. Malice. Okay, good. Two, three, four, five. Alright, giant moss farm. Aesthetics. Guy with a gun. Right there. Just take all these ports. Here, defend the border. You can do it. Now we have far more moss than we need. Uh, but that's okay. Because we can turn that frown right upside down by taking this botanical garden. Placing it right there. Right there, right there. And then a arm goes right there. And does this actually function like it should? It does not. Big sad face. Big, big sad face. Okay, so. Boop, boop. Right there, right there, right there. So, alright. You have water, you have seeds, you will have moss, I suppose. We should do this. A. Eh? So we have to change this yet again, yeah? That's fine. Change is what we do here. And that goes right there. Let me hook you up. Right there, right there. Obviously like this. And we will be doing moss in here. We will be changing everything. Everything you know is wrong. Which I've suspected for a long time. Alright, this way. the direction of this. It's going to be like this. Alright, so lots and lots of moss coming over this way. We should light this up. There we go. Just need moss. We have two more moss farms coming, and I'll just put them over here. This should increase seedling production quite a bit and make it so pollution can never ever ever bypass this area. Just cannot. Alright, good, you're making seedlings, you're making seedlings, you're not. But I have to put in two more moss farms. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I believe I calculated we need eight and nine. Which I can accommodate right now. Just goes right there. You do that. You get moss. Now I have to wire it up, unfortunately. 
Are we out of carbon dioxide? Or did I clip the line? I clip the line. There we go. Uh, nobody saw that. That didn't happen. That was just a rumor. There we go. Start. And one more. This will take a very long time to see fruit. And honestly, I probably should throw down an entire another bank of these somewhere. Uh, oh, I had exactly enough. That's a good feeling. So right here, right here, like that. Like this, and like that. All right, excellent. So, nine moss makers feeding into three seedling makers. Do we have an excess of moss right here? Can we be? Oh, we don't even have a seedling out. <laughs> How embarrassing. Imagine if I just walked away right now. Like this. Oh, actually, actually vent. Right here, same story. So seedlings being just thrown out into the world. They will become big, strong trees to become science. The greatest, the fulfillment of every tree's greatest and fondest dream to be turned into raw science. Okay, so let's look what's going on over here now. Oh, we're firing at all barrels. Oh, wow. Um, wood is backed up. Not by a lot, but it is backing up. Alright, so I am going to go and enable uh, these trees down here, these tree farms. You know that I have increased seedling production. These tree farms I uh, kind of clipped a while ago. You're not going at full power, you don't need a box. Yeah, just throw them all out. Just huge, huge. 15. Go in. Great. Now you are going at full speed. And right here. You also. I wish you would go full speed. You, you're going full speed. You are not going full speed. So this has been like, it's been a quarter and I've put it up to, so there was, this is like adding three new tree farms, which should consume all the seedlings I put out. So, okay. This is producing six logs every 40 seconds. That's unfortunate. Uh, and on the, the upside, it also consumes ash. You know, I don't want to add anything to the system while I'm, I've adjusted it. Let's take a look. I want to see wood saplings. So wood production is probably, there's logs, so wood production is right there. Sapping production is like in the 600s, right there. Alright, so it looks like no change so far. Just a little bit of bump up, and wood has not changed much at all. Alright, we'll let that uh, cook a little bit. Meanwhile, it's time to look over here, right? Why have you stopped making bricks? Oh, pitch is that being a problem. Alright, why is pitch being a problem? Up here we go. You're going full speed? Yes. 
Why is all this stopped? Why do we have so much middle oil? Yeah, we can't we can't vent the anthracene. And it's just because this is running full blast, right? Yeah, we're just choking on anthracene oil right now. This is going well. Yeah, that's the definition of going well right there. All right, so anthracene oil is a problem. So give me a tar processor. And we will add one more problem to our pile of problems here. Luckily, the output is just pure creosote. Creosote is being consumed. And the products are being burned, which is good, I think. Yeah, it's consuming all the creosote. There's probably a much better useful... I should not have done that. No tin plate is being produced. Oh, that's because it's very intermittent. There you go. Yeah, I'll have to increase all that soon. So where am I going to drop this? It's easy to pipe over, so I guess it goes right here if I could find a way to site it. Which I can, I just have to move some pipes. Like right here. So I have to move this carbon dioxide line, and I have to move the power. Neither of which is terrible, right? Except somehow it is. Except somehow it is. So where would the side of this be? Right alongside there? All right. Good idea? No. What I'm doing? Yes. Okay. Spaghetti increases. There. That looks intentional. Nice. Nice and snug. You produce. You you consume. Hmm. Maybe I should look into doing this. Um. Stop venting creosote and do something. Anyway, right there. So, it's not the one we want. The one we want is right there. And there's a nice clean shot. This is such a mess. There we go. Alright, anthracene oil in, creosote out, up top, easy. Nice and easy. So just bop, 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 bop. All right. Now we are consuming more anthracene oil. That should bring the pitch back up. Now uh, is it time to take a look? Uh, tree seedlings, they're up a bit, not a lot. I have to just wood is up a bit. Not a lot. I'll have to just be mass producing wood, won't I? Anyway, you can just yeah, all your products are venting. And all your products are venting. Alright, good. We would prove the world in just a little just a little way. Now the oxide line is flowing again. Um Bricks are backing up. This is just going constant. Just eating all of the pitch. Good, good, good. Bricks not totally consumed, just backing up. Mm. Mm. Ah, there we go. I wonder if... Well, we've come to it, right? This is it. There's nothing to do but redo this entire area right here. Um, so, how are we going to do this? Let's start by the obvious clear space. 
those small parts, just toss them in here. I want to rework all of this. So I just take it down and science stops for a little bit. I'm not thrilled about that answer. Uh, but I think I have to bite the bullet and do it that way, huh? All right, let's buy out and build a whole bunch of, oh, science. Build a whole bunch of these. Uh, starch, nice. So how much have we researched today? So we've gotten, I think we did melamine, this, this, that, and we're gonna, we're gonna do this one. This is probably gonna be all we do, right? For this session. So like two, we are, okay, maybe three. They get rough down here. We're gonna make it, absolutely. So research that, and now, this pie science, pie science is almost a limiting factor. All right. Okay. Need more of these. Need more of everything. I like how my inventory is clearing out. It's funny how uh, I'm not producing nearly as much copper as I. Oh, I'm not even consuming a full belt. Oh, I have to get the other copper belt online. Uh, yeah, there's nothing for it. A lot of these are going to turn off soon. I'm going to have to start mining up here, and then I will put a full uh, sapling production area up there. All right, that's fine. So we have to look. Into, what is this doing? Oh, it's dumping. It's probably an ash line. All right, so need more you. Do I just clean up everything and redo it all? So we have to make planter boxes. That's three in, four in, two out. So we'll have power in, ash out ash and planter boxes and do a splitter right here. Planter goes one way, ash goes another way. And then need more space up here. So let's just start pulling it apart. Science will stop. Science will stop. This needs to move. This line right here. I need you to come up, sir. If indeed you should be here at all, honestly. It might be better to route it anywhere else, but... Oh, and I'm going to have to do... Wow, it was tight. Alright, I can handle it. There. Just like new. Now we gain a little bit of space. After ourselves. Science has stopped, by the way. It might get better in a second, but for the moment, science has stopped. I want to pull this up. Um, yeah, this has to go one more up. And that's going to be easy. But I just have to pick it up. So the way I'm doing this is fine. And then cross like that. And now we have wood in, brick in, and iron in. So it's going to be like this. We're going to have fuel line just hovering over all. Um, and then wood line is not where it needs to be because wood line has to come straight through here. Only we have dirt line here because it's being confused because we have too much stuff coming. So pick this up. Science has stopped. Dirt line just gets completely relocated for the moment. What's this? 
Oh, that was uh, dirt out. Um, when I had just dirt in my inventory and I wanted to get rid of it. All right, so I guess while I'm doing this, it's time to just pick this up. Probably not like that. Pick all this up. Because this is not what I need over here. Okay, everything just gets picked up. Alright, so we have wood line. Pick that up. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Pick those up first. Science has stopped, by the way. So, in line, right there. Okay, this is where wood is going to be. Empty. Empty planter box. And this is not where it needs to be. Because brick line needs to be right here, right? Oh, right into the aluminum. Alright, we can jump it. Of course we can. line. Then put the splitter right there. Science has stopped. Be quick. There. Brick line. Not awkward at all, right? Alright, so now we're going to need power in. Uh, no, wait. This should be powered on wood, especially since there's a wood line right there. Ooh. 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 Especially since there's a wood line right there. So there is no ash out. There is no power in right here. It will burn wood. All right. Oh, that's terrible. I picked up too much. Like these things don't even burn the... Ugh. All right, I have to pick up still more. I had such a clean inventory. Right, this way, this way. I'm gonna have so much crap in it too. It's gonna be coal dust. All right, this is slightly cleaner. All right, so our goal now put right there, right there. You are making planter boxes, and so this will leap. Like all this nonsense right here goes. Oh no. Um, how to alleviate my pain. Uh, all this is stopped. Okay, take a box. Take a hand. Please get rid of this dirt. Okay. Now, pick this stuff up. Pick that up. Pick that up. Pick that up. Alright, so... This is obviously going to be like this. And you're going to put out planter boxes, right? Actually use good stuff. All right, the planter boxes are out here. And this already doubles what I had before. And now all I need, we're going to go underground immediately. Let's get rid of all this. All this. I can't even describe what's going on right here. And there will be no ash because it's burning wood. And that's okay because wood burns so very, very, very slowly. Um, so, now this goes across. And all that's left is getting iron in here somehow. And since I am not putting power in, we can get iron in this way. Um, we will pull an iron line right here. And it will jump like so. Then we will split it. And we will go to there. To there. There to there, there to there, and, and, and there. And then iron will be in like this.
this. So this can just be turned on now, right? Bup, 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 bup. Yeah, it even looks all right, right? And what's the bottleneck? Bricks in? That's a fine bottleneck in, I suppose. If I do normal, it's slightly better and it burns wood a lot less. So, okay. All right, so this is fine and we will expand out uh, to the left. Now, what is necessary is another rank of stuff. This is the outline for what we're doing. So, no, I am doing things wrong. I'm going to probably not leave myself enough logistic space right here. We will go right here. No. We will go... right here. And you need to make full planter boxes. And the planter boxes will come over on the top. And unfortunately you will need power. Um, can I power this off wood too? But it'll need a wood line no matter what, All right? So we will do the thing I was thinking about. So power will come in here. Power will be in the form of wood. This is starting to look bad. So I suppose, no, that's where iron will have to go. Hmm. The proper thing to do would be wood to come along from another axis. All right, let's just stop thinking about that for a moment. Because planter boxes can come over from the north. And then ash, uh, which is another, planter boxes are the easy one. So planter boxes should not come from the north. Um, here, let's do this. Let's space them slightly more awkward, like this. And then there will be a this. I think this is a good idea. And then I will turn... Planner boxes will come in there and it'll be internal. Or should I come down here? Where am I going to get power from? Where am I going to ash out from? How am I going to get product out? Well, let's answer these questions. This will be dirt right here. And this will be uh, ash right here. And that's the major axis getting everything in. And that's enough to produce full planter boxes. So we will then go universal out, I guess. Mm. I can go ash out right here. Well, how does power get in, I suppose? It has to come off on the sides. Um, feeling awkward, feeling indecisive. So, easiest thing in the world would be um, to do this first off, and then this would be product out, and we'll get it over there somehow. Product out, um, and then like right over here, we do a splitter, and ash will go preferentially one way or another, like preferentially up, yeah, like this. So ash over to the left. Uh, filter on ash. Ash. Ah, we go. Ash right there. Okay. Okay. And then ash will come and join the ash line. No, we have to. 
in order to pull that off it needs to go one down which is really pushing the limits of the space that we have here so right there uh, ash rub ash on there ash goes left and then we have one of these prep output priority input priority like this there so this will be the ash line and then this will be just raw product right here um, and the best way to get that over there is to first jump this and then curl ourselves around right so this no longer needs to exist and this doesn't look good but it'll work right I'll make the, the planter. Alright, so we have dirt in, we have planter box in, we have ash in. Now we just have to put power in. So this is just generic out. Right here. Generic out. This is generic in. And this is boom boom boom. Boom boom boom. Boom boom boom. Boom, boom, boom. Good, 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 good. And all that's left is putting power in somehow. And the obvious place to put it is right on the sides. I mean, obvious in that it's all that's left. And can I leap? No, not that anything that goes that far. Um, so, what I suppose is required here is this. And we have a splitter line right here. And we have a splitter line right here. And it will curl up and it will supply the power. Uh, science has stopped, by the way. So power in. Where is a power line? Over there. So start by hooking this up, right? Can't do anything without power. Over here to over here and then split. And down and in. Good, good, good. Then I should just Take this right there, right? Back that up. Okay, good. Right. Now we hook up Ash, which is right there anyway. So right there. Boop, boop. That's hooked up. Now we hook up Dirt, which is not anywhere on the line we need. This is all because I built without discipline earlier. I mean, as if I'm building with discipline everywhere else. I built with particularly poor discipline on this on this row. Now, if I need more of any product, I just build to the left, reproduce this over there. You know, build it out of a uh, whole cloth. All right. And so now we get to turn it on and see what mischief we have wrought. Doesn't have power. There we go. It looks cleaner. Let's get ash out of my inventory. And empty planner boxes right there. Why do I have carriage in my inventory? So embarrassing. Here, use carriage in. Ew. Alright, so let's see. Now we are finally making full planter boxes, and the ash is getting separated. Science has stopped, but this is choked on output. That's good. This is choked on input, essentially. Don't look at that. That's the one I overloaded. Yeah, we're choked on input. So there's really no reason to use 
um, the fast one because it's just I can't load fast enough. Now it's going to be doing constantly. All right, good. And we are absolutely just crushing it on planner box production. So it is time to expand this level this way. Yes. Yes, yes. Okay, so that's next, but that's going to be done next time. As you might have noticed, um, things are happening here. Oh, that's the problem right there. I'll have to fix that. But that's, that's, that's not a problem for right now. I'll fix that when I come back. All right, I'm going to, I'm going to save now. I'll play again later. Bye, everybody. Bye, 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 bye.